I swear to God, if that woman's back. <gasps> Whoa. What the hell was that? Why did I just walk out to that? <gasps> oh. The TV turned itself on and I can just about make out a sound over the static. Come closer. Is that someone crying? What the hell? Is there someone in my house right now? Listen, if you're here to murder me, I'd rather you didn't. I'm not crazy. You all heard that door, too. <gasps> no, is it the door that was locked? Oh, God, is it the door that was locked? Oh, God, it was. Okay, okay, here we go. I'm certain I didn't bring this box with me. I have no idea how it got here. Yep, well, we ain't staying in this room to investigate it. We taking it right out here. Ooh, I got scared something was there. Could stay right here. We putting our back to the window, and then we'll open it. Baby clothes. A painting. This is Franco from your auto insurance. I must ensure you that your car has been declared a total loss. Hello. All right, what now? Okay, so we have baby clothes. A gift we got from Jessica's friends a few months ago. The box is moldy and there's a terrible scent coming from it. We are currently investigating the details of the accident to determine the liability of the parties involved. Let me know when you have an update. Oh gosh, maternity photo album, oh my god. A, a baby photo album I bought and was going to give Jessica the pages inside are starting to rot. I thought I had gotten rid of this. By the way, sorry for your loss, insurance prick, I like that. What was that? What was that noise? I think it came from the basement. I don't want to go. Oh God. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. <sighs> oh God, what the fuck? What is that? Oh God, what is happening here? This is terrible. The this leak is quickly deteriorating the ceiling. I feel like I have to do something or it will collapse soon, but I can barely look at this thing. It's making me lightheaded and nauseous. It's frustrating though. I know I need to take care of it, but I feel so repulsed that all I can do is ignore it. God, I hate looking at it. So, so do I just leave it? God, I hate this. Oh God, I hate this. A painting? Jessica painted this, oh, while traveling with her parents as a teenager. It was still one of her favorites after all this time. Another painting? 
This was Jessica's last painting. She had been feeling uninspired for a while before making this and was determined to never paint again, which is a shame because I was quite fond of the result. This was Jessica's first painting as an art student. She could explain its meaning to me a thousand times and I would still not be able to fully grasp it, but I still quite like how it looks. I don't... I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing now. Like, okay, we're gonna go back down to the basement. I don't want to, but we're going to because I don't... We can't just, like, leave this. You replied to me. Who's this? Oh god, oh god, oh god. Can I go downstairs? I don't want to be upstairs. I don't know if I want to be downstairs either. I don't really know where I want to be. This this corner by Jessica's paintings is where I want to be. Oh god. You know what? Let's get some fresh air. We're going to take a step outside. See if we got any mail. No, no mail. I'm so lost now. No, I don't like that. No. <gasps> oh, hi. Oh, hi. Oh, hi, oh, hi, oh, hi. I will hit you. I will hit you. Please don't hurt me. Oh, my gosh. Are those those red veins that that one guy saw? I don't know how I feel. I don't know how I feel at all. Oh, I don't know how I feel at all. Is that Jessica? That's Jessica. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Don't turn around and look at me. Please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't. Okay. Oh, it's not over yet. Oh, everything's upside down. It was your fault. What? Such a disappointment. Why are you saying this? Our home's upside down. Oh god. Oh god. I don't like it. Oh God. Oh God. The damn basement. Oh, geez, hi. 
Oh god, Jessica, is that you? A VHS tape labeled tape number four, I could probably birth. Jessica, can we have a mutual understanding that you will not kill me? Oh god, please don't kill me while I'm turned around. As the tape starts playing, I find myself instantly immersed in a nightmarish, distorted reflection of the man's tortured psyche. The scene is a collection of fragmented images, disjointed sounds and memories, and deeply unsettling feelings. Somehow merged and played all at once, it's an incoherent mess I can barely make out that I'm seeing. It frightens me to my core, and at the same time, it's sort of beautiful and makes sense to me. The man's face and body are completely distorted beyond recognition. If I ever knew who was who he was before, I can no longer and never will again, but at this moment I feel an overwhelming surge of empathy for him. As if his pain reverberated within my own body, the tape becomes a conduit for his suffering, a mirror reflecting my own battle along with his. The fragments of his voice reaching my ears like shards of broken glass speak of a foreshadowed catastrophe that has shattered his world just like mine. In the midst of the chaos, there's a moment of eerie stillness. The man's eyes meet mine through the flickering of glitchy screen, a fleeting recognition uh, that sends a chill down my spine. He's now fully aware of my presence and his torment reaches beyond the confines of the tape. And then in a crescendo of madness and despair, the tape abruptly cuts off. The abrupt ending leaves me gasping for breath, my heart pounding in my chest. The darkness lingers, echoing with unanswered questions and haunting whispers. It's haunting and inviting all at once. I'm left grappling with the fragments of his shattered existence, piecing together the shards of his unraveling mind. The man is gone forever now. The tape has become a portal into the darkness, darkest recesses of our consciousness, forcing us to confront the demons that lurk within. Okay, Jessica, I'm just gonna back up from you a little bit. Oh, good lord. Oh good. Oh good, I get choices now. That's great. These paintings seem to have been painted by Jessica, but I've never seen them before. Oh lord. These pa Oh god, I hate it. Oh God. Oh God. Here we go. Oh God, it's getting bigger. There's definitely a baby crying. Oh God. Oh, Jessica, please. She seems to be distracted by something right in front of her. Honey, did you see the latest paintings I made? Each took an eternity to finish, but I think they turned out perfect. I did. I was thinking of you and our baby Laura, you know? That's why they look so wonderful, Jessica. 
Do you remember that question I used to ask you? What does God look like? Oh God, oh no, no. Yes, what does God look like? <laughs> it's funny that you were never religious, but you've always tried to help me understand why we could never truly see him. And I really appreciate that, you know. Oh gosh, I have a feeling he'd say it was all my fault. But I want him to say, like, I really miss you, or honey, I'm so sorry for what happened. But I have a feeling he would say it was all my fault. Oh, God. But I see him now, she smiles. I see him, and he's beautiful. Do you see him, too? I, I, it seems like he really loved his wife. I, I think that because of all of this, he would not let his fear win and he'd agree with her. Yes, I see him too. Wonderful, isn't it? So powerful and astounding and devastating. I feel like tearing my face off, but in the most wonderful way. I've been trying to forgive myself. I don't know if I can let you go. Oh, don't worry about me anymore. We have our baby to take care of, to take care for now, silly. Do you hear that? She's crying, the poor thing. I should go check on our little girl. She's probably hungry. I hate this. Look at you, honey. See, I told your father you're hungry, aren't you? Don't worry, Laura. Mommy will feed you. Oh, hello, darling. You've been away for a while. We've barely seen you recently, come to think of it. Where have you been? Don't you miss us? It's so lonely and empty here, and Laura doesn't stop crying for her dad. Oh... I just said that he doesn't think he can let her go, so I'm gonna say, of course I miss you. Then I have a wonderful idea. Why don't you join us? Oh, Laura misses you so much, and she's so hungry all the time. I really wanna satiate her hunger. I can't see her suffering like this. I will join you. I can't join you, I'm so sorry. I can't join you, I'm so sorry. That is not your daughter, and that's not your wife. I see. Oh, she's so hungry. Look at her. I'll go ahead and feed her now then. Pity you can't join us. She'll really, she really needs her daddy. Oh God, she's getting up. The door is locked. Oh! Oh, I joined! I accidentally joined! Oh my god! I didn't mean to do that, but that's where we're going. Oh my god. I thought it was gonna be like inspect, but it wasn't. Oh god, I hate it. I hate it, I hate it. Ever since the accident, Guilt has haunted me. So I built a labyrinth.
where I allowed myself to be lost. Oh! Oh no! Oh my god! That was so eerie and oh my god that was a lot! Oh my god that was so good! Oh, I don't even know where to go from here. Oh my gosh. If you guys want to check this game out, the link will be down in the description. I got the bad ending. I got the bad ending because I was dumb and... Yeah. Yeah, and I accidentally joined and I shouldn't have joined. But oh my god, that was so much fun. Oh my gosh, I was a little over an hour long. If you guys want to check this game out, the link will be in the description. Even if you don't want to play the game, go show this developer some love, because that was phenomenal. Oh my gosh, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, maybe give it a thumbs up, maybe subscribe. But as always, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you all have a beautiful day, a beautiful afternoon, and a wonderful evening, and I will see you on the next video. Bye!